proud of you, mate. All these wild parties and you managed to keep your nose clean. Yeah. But Aiden, Aiden's gonna be okay, right? I mean, he's hurt, but there's nothing permanent. Irene did say that he went into surgery this morning. There is a chance that he could lose a leg. You all right? Yeah. It's, it's just it's just a bit of a shock. Yeah, it is. Could be a hell of a lot worse, though. Yeah. I've got to get to work. Uh, can I come into my own kitchen now? I just wanted to give Roman a go without any pressure, and he is great. He's calm, he's, he's, he's quick, and he's got some great ideas about ways we can improve service. Oh, has he now? Be nice. He's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, well, apart from the fact that his skin is just about perfect. I was just singing your praises to Irene, wasn't I? Hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> apparently you can cook. But you know what? I'm looking for more than that in a, in a partner. OK. You know nothing about me, but that's the whole point of having a month's trial, right? We'll work out if we can put up with each other. Well, you know what? When I make up my mind, I'll get back to you about the trial. Why don't you try Spanish on what? Good. So the fact that you can cook is probably a good step in being a partner, right? Why don't we go outside and have some coffee? You deserve a break. Ooh, seen you in a better mood, mate. What's up? Nothing. Well, we don't want to scare the punters away, so you better lighten up, all right? Joe, was it you who sold some of the alcohol? OK, just, just keep your voice down. You idiot! If they weren't drunk, Cassie wouldn't have driven. Yeah, well, if I didn't sell to them, somebody else would. OK, you can't blame me. So what, Drew? Yeah, we managed to relieve the pressure. Aiden's dad's here now, yeah. We told him that Aiden should regain the full use of his leg back, but it's still too early to tell if he can play football again or not. Oh, thank you for that, Rachel. I'll make sure I pass it on. Yep. Ta. Aiden's gonna be all right. Yes. And you will be too, as long as you tell the truth. Um, that's the problem. There's more to it. Like what? Well, it's not about the marijuana. Um, there were three more people in the car, mates of Aiden's. There were seven of you. Cassie, I'm sorry, Sal. You have just spent the whole day attacking Rick for not thinking things through and then you go and do something like this. Why didn't you tell the police that? Well, the guys took off because they didn't want to get busted for the pot and then Simon told me not to say anything and, and I don't know, I just, I went with it. Yeah, well, you just make sure you tell the truth right now. I will. About everything. I will, I will. Cassie, a wallet was found in Simon's car. We've traced the owner and he came clean with the whole story. Do you want to tell me how many people were in that car? There were seven. And I know how this sounds, but I was just about to tell you. Yeah, right. It sounds convenient. But okay. she's telling the truth. Well, it's a shame she didn't do that from the start. The fact that that car was overloaded changes everything. And you keep lying to us, and frankly, I don't know what to believe anymore. I just wanted to get some extra cash so I could replace Bell's camera lens. No, by selling liquor to miners. I mean, do you know we could lose our liquor licence for this? Yeah, not to mention the fact that Aiden's lying in hospital. Yeah, yeah, OK, I stuffed up. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it, mate. Well, what's going to happen now? Well, for starters, you can kiss your job goodbye. Are you going to tell anyone else? Oh, you want to keep this under wraps? Yeah, I suppose after all, the kid did give him a false ID. I suggest we just leave it there. I admit I should have told you about the other boys and I was stupid to drink and drive. I take responsibility for that, but I promise you I did not smoke any marijuana. OK, well, our first problem is that you omitted to tell us several key details. And without the full facts, it's impossible for us to assess the situation and see where the responsibility lies. We've made that assessment now. By agreeing to drive that vehicle, you displayed poor judgement. And it appears that the extra weight in the vehicle may have contributed to the cause of the accident. I'm sorry, Cassie, but as the driver of that vehicle, we are charging you with negligent driving, occasioning grievous bodily harm.
In the final gripping moments of Home and Away for 2007, there'll be a wedding. Who will he marry? His ex-wife or his fiancée? Plus, who is the hospital attacker? It's someone they all trust. Oh, God. Home and Away, weeknights.